America's Evil Genius back with you with just a brief comment this week. We are right now in the middle of taping episode number 61, I guess it is, of America's Evil Genius, uh, in which we're going to talk about the war within the middle class. That's going to be very interesting and something that uh, that hopefully we'll have finished for you in the next couple of days. I anticipate releasing it uh, sometime Sunday, if not sooner. But while we were working on that, as we were talking about it and working on it and so forth, something else occurred on Monday of this week out on the campaign trail that caused a little bit of controversy, at least so far as the American left was concerned. So I wanted to make a couple of comments on it uh, because the left is just going up in arms, just ape spit about this, if you will. Uh, let me set this up for you. We're going to show you the clip of what happened, but Mitt Romney was at a campaign stop, was taking questions from some of the supporters and some of the people in attendance, and a lady asked a particular question uh, that has garnered quite a bit of controversy from the left. So here is this lady's question, followed by Mitt Romney's response, and then I'll have a comment right afterwards. Here it is. The microphone right behind you. Um, we have a president right now that is operating outside the structure of our Constitution. And I want to know... I want to know, I, I want, yeah, I do agree he should be tried for treason, but I want to know what you are going to be able to do to help restore balance between the three branches of government and what you're going to be able to do to restore our Constitution in this country. Well, well, as I'm sure you do, I happen to believe that the Constitution was not just brilliant, but probably inspired. I believe the same thing about the Declaration of Independence. And, uh, and, uh, and I believe, uh, unlike what the President said about the Supreme Court, uh, where he suggested that it was, not just suggested, he said that it would be unprecedented for the Supreme Court to, to overturn a, a decision by the, the, uh, by the legislature. Actually, that's their role and has been since uh, Marbury versus Madison in the early 1800s. And, and so I, I will respect the different branches of government if I'm fortunate enough to become president. Uh, and uh... So there you see the question. Uh, the crux of it, or the one thing in that question that got a lot of controversy was the idea of Obama being tried for treason, and that's supposedly so controversial, and all of the liberal commentators, Ed Schultz was out there, and Maxine Waters was on his show, and all these people were just trashing Romney left and right for, for not heading this off at the pass, and for not putting this lady in her place, and, and for not rejecting that type of over-the-line rhetoric. Now, come on, Ed, and, and all the rest of you. I think it's a little ludicrous uh, to, to take Romney to task for that for two reasons. The first reason I think it's ludicrous is that if you go back and look at the question, the whole treason aspect of it wasn't really a germane part of her question. She was asking a totally different question, namely about uh, the balance of powers within the federal government. A very logical question to ask at this point in time, I would think. And the, the treason thing just kind of slipped out of someone else in the audience, and she happened to say she agreed with it. So really, the treason factor was not the big part of the question. But the second reason that I, that I don't think this was over the line, the second reason that I don't think Romney uh, should head these type of things off at the pass, uh, as some of the left are saying that they should, the second reason is that, you know what, whether you like it or not, a lot of the American people have some serious doubts and some serious questions about Barack Obama's motivations, about Barack Obama's Americanism. Uh, some people in terms of his birth, but others like me in terms of what he believes, his core beliefs and his actions. And we do have doubts about whether he really has the best interests of America at heart. And in an election year, if you have doubts like that, if you have questions like that, it seems to me that it would be worthwhile to bring those questions up to the forefront, to have those addressed. And I don't think it's over the line for people to ask such questions. If they've got the legitimate concerns, why not bring them up in the public square and have them answered? Makes sense to me. But instead, so many on the left are hearing these type of questions and saying, oh, that's far-right rhetoric. Oh, that's over the line. Oh, we got to shut these people down. Last I checked, this was a free election. And that meant that all of us get to have our, our curiousness and our questions and our concerns addressed, not just those of you who think that you can determine what we should talk about and what we shouldn't. 
And whether you like it or not, Ed Schultz and the rest of you, whether you like it or not, there are people that have these genuine concerns. So if they've got the concerns, I think they ought to bring them to the forefront. You do not have the right to tell us what our concerns should be. Now, do I think Barack Obama should be tried for, for treason? I don't know. I mean, I, I have my doubts about him and where his loyalties lie and so forth, like most everybody else does. But I don't know if what he's done would go to the point of, of matching the legal definition of treason. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. But if I were Mitt Romney, and I know everything's hindsight 2020, and, and, and you know, when you're on the campaign trail, you get these questions, you've got to answer them right when you get them. So you don't have time to really think out a, uh, a nuanced answer. But if I were the candidate, I would have hoped that I would have responded to her in some way like this, that I would have said something to the effect of, you know, I can understand why people have doubts about some of the motivations of Barack Obama and some of the, the uh, events that have happened during his term and some of the things that Obama's done and some of the things he's advocated. And while I understand that, I think that going to some sort of a trial and going to some sort of charges of treason would actually be somewhat of a waste of time and money. Not that those concerns are invalid, but instead, then in November of this year, we all have an opportunity to put Barack Obama on trial. We all have an opportunity to judge his guilt or innocence in terms of the American people. So why bother with a trial? Why bother with bringing him up on charges when the American people in November of this year can play the role of judge and jury themselves? I think that would have been the way to answer the question. You don't go out and uh, automatically you know, side with those who, who would use that kind of language, but you're not dismissing them either. And I don't think those people should be dismissed. I think their concerns are as valid as everybody else's in this race. And people are saying, oh, you're going to let the crazies get a hold of the Republican Party. Well, you know something? I'm starting to think the crazies, as you call them, although I don't think that lady sounded crazy at all. The extremists, the crazies. The more I look at it, the more I think about it, those are the only people left in American politics who seem to have any sense. So if the crazies take over the party, so be it. I'm proud to be one of them. Now, I'm not going to go so far as to say Barack Obama should be brought up on charges of treason. I won't say that he shouldn't either. But I think that the best way, if you think Barack Obama should be brought up on charges of treason, if you think he has sins to pay for for America, the best thing you can do is work with all of your might to defeat him in November 2012. Because that's the quickest, most efficient, and cheapest way to bring this guy to justice. So that's where I stand on that so-called so controversial topic. I know Mitt Romney put out a little statement saying, oh no, Romney's not treasonous, that Obama's not treasonous. I wish he wouldn't have done that, but I would have expected nothing less from him. Uh, but I don't think that people like that lady should be shut down in terms of the American debate and in terms of our political discourse. Because I believe it's people like that who have been shut down for far too long in America. We need a few more voices like hers. And I'm proud to be a voice like hers. This weekend, we're going to talk about the war within the middle class. You won't want to miss it on America's Evil Genius. We'll see you then.